Well, 2020 is here. Um, maybe 24 more hours away to be there, but a lot happened in 2019. You know, um, we lost Nipsey Hussle. I lost some, some close childhood friends. You know, lost lost a lot of people this year, but I'm still stoked about moving on. You know, into 2020 and just seeing what what life has to offer next because. You know, as I live this journey, I just realized it's all a game anyway. You know, um, everything you have, you will eventually lose. So I talked about it earlier today that since, you know, since you will die one day, that's guaranteed. And the people you love will die. Um, you have to prioritize the fucks that you choose to give throughout life. You know, more time should be spent focused on what actually matters you know, the thing that's going to move you closer to your goal. Like, what else matters outside of that? Like, for real, for real. You know, um, a lot of us want to live, you know, be better to our families or our spouses or our kids. And trust me, when you get where you're trying to get, it'll be it'll be time for them. You know? But right now, the main thing is the main thing. And there's nothing that can take away from that. Nothing gets in front of the main thing. All right. So here we are going into 2020. Um, for me personally, I know this is a year where I want to, I just want to impact more people. That's the goal. Um, so obviously I have to create more content. I have to dig a little bit deeper into my, uh, you know, my creative faculties and, and just pull from the ether, continue to create, continue to inspire. Um, man, I'm just optimistic about whatever is, whatever is next. I, I literally don't care what 2020 holds good or bad um what i'm most proud of is the mindset that i'm going into it with like you know i know seasonal depression is a thing and for me you know it, winter times used to hit me real hard um man I'm, I'm blessed to say that this winter has been a breeze you know it's been easy just focused on what i know matters most at the end of the day um this internet thing is real if you're not posting content right now whether it's written audio, video on five platforms, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Um, you're leaving a lot of opportunity on the table. That's just the reality of it. Um, we're moving into a time where it's just going to get harder and harder to prove who you are without a strong online presence. Mainly people who are looking for jobs. Um, everybody's not meant to be a business owner, so I'm, I'm going to be realistic enough to understand that that's not for everybody. But, you know, push come to shove, you can get a job. But moving forward, it's going to be more difficult to qualify yourself if you don't have an online presence. So you might want to start doing that right now if you haven't already. If you're not posting content around the thing that you are passionate about that builds your profile around that uh, that industry. Right. So that way you can leverage yourself um, when opportunity you know, meets you or whatever. So, um, you know, let's say you like video games, you know, so you've been posting content. You've been you've been putting out content on, on Twitch, which is a streaming platform for gamers. Now more and more people are seeing you and now esports want to sign you or, you know, they want you to be you know the front guy or you just never know what kind of opportunity can really find you from you just being visible. That's just the name of the game at the end of the day. By you posting content online constantly, you're just making yourself more visible. So, like I said, if that's not what you're doing right now, if that's not what you're investing your time in doing right now, then, man, oh, man, I just I'm curious to see what the future look like for the people who didn't jump on board. Attention is always shifting right now is it's on mobile devices and those social apps, but it's going to shift in the future. But right now, this is the opportunity to take truly take advantage of the Internet for what it is right now and the amazing opportunity that it has. So, um, like I said, this this is this is going to be a huge year uh, for me personally. And what I want to do with with my um, just with with just the, the energy and willpower that I have, I just want to I want to impact more people. I want to be able to inspire more people to reach other people at the end of the day. Like, what else are we doing here? Um, 
You only are who you are relative to how other people view you. Right? So I can say I'm one thing, but if the world doesn't see me as that, then <laughs> who, who am I actually proving that to? Right? Obviously, you got to prove things to yourself first. That's what matters. Your opinion of yourself. But if you are truly something, other people will be able to validate that for you. So, like I said, I know, you know, there's people out here that are, they're already along their path. They're not meant to be business owners. They already are who they are, you know, whether that's ne- negative or positive. You know, I got family members who are just, just you know, they meant to be in jail. That's just the path that, I'm not going to say they chose for themselves, but it just seemed like it was almost destined, right? Like nothing I could have did as a kid or a teenager would have would have stopped that or prevented that. But, um, man, just blessed, blessed to have the mindset that I do. And even anybody who has the nerve to listen to this and understand, um, you have to realize how blessed you are to not be like the people who don't get it. You know, the people who are just living life blindly, not aware of the changes that are happening right in front of them, not just seeing things for what they truly are like perspective I often talk about happiness um and i can't wait till the conversation is different where people finally realize it had nothing to do with money once we realize that we can we can go towards our passions more as human beings and so i can't wait to see what that world is like maybe i'll never get to experience it but i'll, I'll at least work hard enough to make sure my kids get to see what that world is like you know a world where money doesn't define you, but what you do for a living, you know? So I just wanted to do this quick rant, you know, for all my people who stay in tune with the podcast. And I know I haven't updated the, the feed in a few days, but here we are with another one. Like I said, 2020 is just going to be a stronger year going into it. More content, more context more opportunities to impact at the end of the day so catch y'all in the next one